The year 2025 will forever be etched in our memories for one monumental event, the Great Siberian Freeze. This was not just another winter, it was an extraordinary phenomenon that gripped the world's attention. In the heart of Siberia, temperatures in places like Yakutsk and Omiyakon plummeted to a bone-chilling minus 40 degrees Celsius. What made it even more remarkable was that these frigid temperatures lingered for weeks on end, creating an unprecedented situation. This wasn't merely a cold snap. It was a relentless siege of icy conditions that shattered decades-old records, leaving meteorologists and residents alike in awe of nature's power. Life as people knew it came to a standstill. Schools were forced to close for weeks, and cars became immovable blocks of ice, frozen solid in the streets. Even the simple act of breathing outdoors became a challenge, as the icy air could scorch your lungs with each inhale. The cold arrived earlier than expected, hit harder than anyone could have predicted, and refused to let go, pushing communities and infrastructure to their absolute limits. The world watched in awe and concern as Siberians faced a true test of endurance, adapting their daily lives in ways that seemed impossible to outsiders. The event quickly became a global headline, serving as a stark reminder of our vulnerability to nature's extremes and the unpredictable power of the environment. This is more than just a weather report, it's a compelling survival story showcasing human resilience in the face of nature's harshest challenges. In this video, we'll delve into the science behind the freeze, explore the incredible resilience of Siberian communities, and uncover the essential skills needed to survive such extreme cold. We'll examine the polar vortex, the heart of Siberia, and the art of survival in one of the world's harshest environments where every day is a battle against the elements. This is a story about resilience, adaptation, and the enduring spirit of survival, where communities come together to face the challenges head-on. Let's step into the cold and uncover the remarkable story of the Siberian freeze of 2025, a testament to human strength and the relentless power of nature. What could unleash such brutal cold, turning entire cities into frozen landscapes and making daily life a struggle against the elements? The answer lies high above us. It's the polar vortex, a powerful force that shapes winter weather across the globe. Imagine a massive cyclone of frigid air swirling relentlessly above the North Pole. This icy giant acts as a fortress, trapping the cold Arctic air and keeping it locked away from the rest of the world. When the vortex is strong and stable, the jet stream flows in a smooth, circular path, effectively containing the cold and maintaining a predictable winter pattern. But this balance is incredibly delicate, easily disturbed by changes in temperature or atmospheric pressure. The vortex itself sits in the stratosphere, far above our heads, yet its invisible influence shapes the weather we experience every single day, from gentle snowfalls to biting cold snaps. When the polar vortex is healthy and intact, it keeps winters relatively predictable, holding the most severe cold at bay and allowing people to enjoy the beauty of winter. Inside the vortex, winds can roar at speeds up to 150 miles per hour, dominating the polar climate during the long, sunless winter months and shaping the Arctic environment. Most years, the polar vortex does its job so well that we barely notice its presence, quietly maintaining the balance of winter. But, when the vortex weakens or becomes unstable, the consequences can be dramatic and far-reaching, sending waves of Arctic air southward. The polar vortex is truly the Arctic's gatekeeper. When it falters, the cold it guards escapes, sweeping across continents and bringing extreme weather. In 2025, this is exactly what happened. The vortex broke down, and the Siberian freeze gripped the region with record-breaking cold. Next we'll explore how this dramatic breakdown of the polar vortex unleashed one of the most severe cold waves in recent history, the Siberian freeze. Trouble starts when the polar vortex weakens and wobbles. Sudden stratospheric warming can disrupt its flow, causing it to split and lose strength. The jet stream, once a stable barrier, begins to meander, creating deep troughs that channel Arctic air south. It's like a dam breaking. The cold spills out, flooding regions like Siberia. In 2025, a shattered vortex parked a lobe of frigid air over Siberia for weeks. This wasn't a random event, but a chain reaction. Warming weakens the vortex, the jet stream wobbles, and the cold surges south. While Siberia froze, other regions saw unusual warmth, 
As the jet stream pulled subtropical air north elsewhere, the result, a world of weather extremes. The Siberian freeze was a textbook case of this atmospheric domino effect. The cold didn't just arrive, it settled in, unrelenting. Surviving minus 40 isn't just about endurance, it's a way of life in Siberia. Metal snaps, breath freezes mid-air, and even glasses can stick to your skin. People dash between buildings, bundled in layers, every outing a calculated risk, cars are left running non-stop, and markets sell fish, frozen solid, stacked like firewood. Utility workers become heroes, racing to fix frozen pipes and keep the power on. A blackout isn't just inconvenient, it's life-threatening. Yet, community spirit shines. Neighbors check on each other, and survival becomes a collective effort. Children learn early to respect the cold and adapt to its dangers. Every day is a lesson in resilience and ingenuity. In Siberia, survival is a shared tradition, passed down through generations. It's not just about enduring the cold, it's about thriving in it. In extreme cold, your clothing is your shelter, and layering is your best defense. The secret isn't one thick coat but several layers trapping warm air. Start with a base layer that wicks moisture, think merino wool or synthetics, never cotton. Staying dry is half the battle. Add a mid-layer for insulation, fleece, down, or heavy wool to trap heat. You can double up if needed, but keep it comfortable. The outer shell blocks wind and moisture, windproof and water resistant is key. Even in dry cold, wind can steal your warmth in seconds. Don't forget extremities. Insulated boots, a hat, face mask and mittens are essential. Each layer has a job. Together, they keep you safe. Get it right, and you can face the cold with confidence. Get it wrong, and frostbite or hypothermia can set in fast. Layering is survival science in action. When the world outside freezes, your home must become your fortress. Start by sealing every crack and gap, windows, doors, outlets, using weather stripping or even towels. Insulate windows with heavy curtains or plastic sheeting to trap heat. Confine your living space to one or two rooms to concentrate warmth. Keep your heating system running efficiently, clean filters, safe space heater use, and always have a carbon monoxide detector. Rugs and carpets add insulation underfoot and wearing warm clothes indoors is a must. Hot drinks and high calorie foods help your body generate heat. Stay active. Gentle movement boosts circulation and keeps you warm. In a deep freeze, every small effort counts. Preparation and vigilance can mean the difference between comfort and crisis. Your home is your last line of defense. Treat it like a survival tool. In Siberia, these habits are second nature. They can save lives anywhere. Stepping outside at minus 40 is dangerous, frostbite and hypothermia can strike fast, sometimes within minutes, the cold is relentless, and even a short exposure can have serious consequences if you're not prepared. In these extreme conditions, every decision matters, and your safety depends on your awareness and quick action. Frostbite numbs skin and turns it white or gray. If you notice tingling, pain, or a waxy appearance, get indoors and warm up gently. Never rub the affected area, as this can cause more damage. Use warm, not hot water, and avoid direct heat sources like stoves or heating pads. Early intervention is key to preventing permanent injury. Hypothermia is even more insidious. Shivering, confusion and drowsiness are warning signs. As your body temperature drops, you may lose coordination and the ability to think clearly. If you or someone with you starts to slur speech or act unusually tired, seek shelter and warmth immediately. Hypothermia can be life-threatening if not treated quickly. Never go out alone if you can help it and always tell someone your plans. Let friends or family know your route and expected return time. In harsh winter conditions, having a companion can make all the difference if something goes wrong. Keep moving to generate heat, but avoid sweating. Damp clothes chill you quickly. Dress in layers so you can adjust as needed and take breaks in sheltered spots to avoid overexertion. Remember, staying dry is just as important as staying warm. Stay hydrated, but skip alcohol and caffeine. Warm water or herbal tea is best. Alcohol and caffeine can actually increase heat loss and dehydrate you, making you more vulnerable to the cold. Sip warm drinks regularly to maintain your body's core temperature. If driving, carry a winter survival kit, blankets, extra clothes, snacks, water and a flashlight. Add a first aid kit, hand warmers and a small shovel for emergencies. Being prepared can turn a dangerous situation into a manageable one. 
keep your fuel tank at least half full to prevent freeze-ups. A fuller tank also ensures you can run the engine for heat if you get stuck and reduces the risk of condensation forming in the fuel lines. If stranded, stay with your vehicle and run the engine periodically. Just clear the exhaust pipe first to prevent carbon monoxide buildup. Use blankets and extra clothing to conserve heat and signal for help with hazard lights or a brightly colored cloth. Preparation is survival. In the frozen world, respect for the cold is non-negotiable. The environment is unforgiving, and only those who prepare and stay vigilant can thrive. Every precaution you take increases your chances of returning home safely. Siberians know these rules by heart, passed down through generations. Now so do you. Remember, knowledge and preparation are your best defenses against the cold. Stay safe out there. The Siberian freeze of 2025 didn't just affect Russia. It sent shockwaves across the globe. The same jet stream that brought Arctic air to Siberia pushed warm air north elsewhere, creating weather extremes worldwide. This phenomenon called teleconnection links distant weather events in a global chain reaction. While Siberia froze, other regions saw record warmth or unusual storms. These disruptions can trigger floods, damage crops, and upend normal life far from the source. A warming Arctic means a weaker, wavier jet stream, so these extremes may become more common. The Siberian freeze was a lesson in how interconnected our climate truly is. What happens in Siberia can ripple across the entire planet. The Siberian freeze of 2025 changed how we think about weather and preparedness. It reminded us that nature's power can overwhelm even the most advanced societies. The lesson, respect the cold, invest in resilient infrastructure, and never underestimate the value of survival skills. Knowing how to dress, fortify your home, and recognize danger signs is life-saving knowledge. The event made emergency kits and preparedness mainstream, not just in Siberia, but everywhere. The science of the polar vortex became real for millions, fostering a more weather-aware public. Understanding the why behind the weather helps us adapt and respond. Ultimately, the story is one of human resilience and hope. By learning from Siberia, we can face future extremes with confidence. The ice will come again, but with preparation, we can endure and thrive. The spirit of survival is universal. Let's carry it forward.